and welcome. This is Elena Webster with Mashhead Real Estate and today I will take you on a tour of a couple of our listings that we are currently selling in these towers. Please join me on this tour and let's go. So many people who have been staying on the strip for years would somehow miss these two twin towers with yellow squares. In order to get to them, I head south on Las Vegas Boulevard and take right on West Aria Place. Then, instead of going to Aria South Park, I go here. Once I drop off my car with the valet, which is by the way the only way to park here, even if you own the unit, valet only, we happen to be in this futuristic sort of underground concrete jungle, while the Frastoria is across the street by the way, with tourists walking up above not even knowing what luxury gem is hidden in plain sight right here. A few words on the history. The construction started in 2006 and was completed in 2010. Vier Towers are twin 37-story, 480 feet residential towers. Each tower houses 335 luxury condominium units, ranging from 537 to 3412 square feet. According to Wikipedia, the towers were designed by Helmut John's office based in Chicago. Lobbies and public spaces were developed by Francisco Gonzalez Pulido and showcase works by Natural Light. There is a total of four elevators on each floor, three regular ones and one freight elevator. I have never waited more than a minute. Once off the elevator though, I always feel so disoriented because all floors are identical and look absolutely the same. If you get off on the wrong floor, you wouldn't even know until you see the unit numbers. Industrial looking cement walls are spreading throughout the entire building. There is also an electrical panel as well as the trash chute on the floor, which I'm always debating. Do you want to be that close to the trash chute for the convenience or do you want to be further away from it to avoid any smells? That is a question to contemplate indeed. When I explore these buildings, I love seeing everything, okay? So I take a look at this emergency staircase and it actually looks pretty clean. Now we go and check out unit 2805, listed by Mashid Real Estate. Which, by the way, if you're interested in selling or buying a high-rise, please visit mashi.com and connect with us. Upon entering, I'm absolutely drawn to this floor-to-ceiling window and can't help but head straight to it. You know, I was thinking, how cool would it be to space travel? Let's say from this condo to somewhere down over there? Oh wait, just did it. That's where we were. Back to the condo now. <laughs> Let me tell you also a little bit about this condo. It's 976 square feet, listed for just a dollar under 795,000. The price is generally based on the floor, the view, the space, the overall upgrades, the higher you go, the more expensive it would be. When you live in a high-rise, you sort of need to embrace this minimalistic lifestyle. Most people, as my broker Mashid says, really do live in around 1000 to 1100 square feet, so you definitely need to downsize and only keep your most prized possessions. Here we have a little closet for storage space and the standard Bosch washer and dryer that usually come in most feeder units. And then we have another little closet space right here. So the space is there, it just depends on how you use it. This is actually a long bedroom, which I would separate into two sections and make it sort of an office with the view and the slumber party bedroom. There is another closet right here. It's always surprising to me how in such small units they're still able to pack up some built-ins. As we can see from the outside, some of the windows are unlucky to have this yellow film, which is, this is what it looks like up close. And it really is a gamble, because some units have some of it, some units have all windows covered in it, and some have none at all, which in that case you can have this clear view. Let's go check out the bathroom now. It is a full bathroom with a shower and a tub. These days I feel like nobody takes baths anymore because we live in such a fast-paced American society. Everybody doesn't look like this tub was used very much, but it is a pretty cool one. 
shape wise and size wise too. I'm pretty surprised that for this time period I really like this tile, although I'm not a super huge fan of like yellowy brown tile. Here we have a little built-in for the shampoos and conditioners, some drawers for space. Overall, pretty spacious bathroom, I must say. Yeah, you can definitely section off this super large room because there are also two ways to enter it. And now we're going back out. I wanted to make this sort of a cinematic video because every time I come here, I feel so overwhelmed with gratitude. I feel like I'm in the right place being here in Vegas and I'm doing the right thing and just so thankful for our clients who work with us. Selling real estate is more than just properties. It's also selling an experience, and this condo is the proof of it. Floor. Whether you live in a $300,000 condo or a $5 million one, Everybody has access to these same amenities, which is the coolest feature. We got the rooftop pool, the hot tub, there's also a gym, and some conference rooms. It's honestly worth buying a condo here just for this. And the craziest part is that as many times as I've been here, there's hardly anybody here. People aren't using these amenities as much, although they pay these crazy high HOA fees. Very interesting. Out of 670 total units, currently as of Friday, January 14th, 2022, there's only 31 for sale. That is a very low number. Less than 4% of these condos are for sale, to put it in perspective. The lowest priced is on a studio on the 8th floor, it's listed for $319,000 and the highest priced is a 36th floor penthouse for $5.5 million. If you got an extra $5 million somewhere, I'll gladly take you there. The HOA fee for the studio is $660 a month and the penthouse is $1,640 respectively. The HOA includes Comtax, Concierge, which is there 24-7 by the way if you need any help, trash, ground management, security, sewer, and water. Remember that beautiful tub I showed you a few minutes ago? You can take a bath every night. The water is included in your HOA. LOL. At the very beginning of this video, I mentioned that a lot of people who are regularly staying on the strip don't even know about the existence of Veer Towers. And one of the reasons for that may be no short-term rentals allowed in this building. Meaning, this is not condo hotel. You cannot buy a condo here and Airbnb it or else you get in big trouble. Minimum rental cycle is six months. And I actually like that because it prevents people from being too casual about going around this building to more caring because this is where they live and this is where they will be seen regularly. There is also these grills that you can reserve if you're planning to host a party. I wanted to see if the pool is heated and yes, it is absolutely heated, so warm all year round. Pretty cool. We're going back down because I wanted to take you outside. The coolest part of being right on the strip is, yeah, you're literally right on the strip. No need to take an Uber or walk too far. You're right there in the middle of it all. Also, right there down underneath is a little dog park, which seemingly every second via resident has one. So right there is where we entered to go underneath. And now we stepped outside through these doors. It is fairly secure because in order to get back in, you do have to have a fob and you get that fob by being either a tenant or a condo owner. Right now, we're going to take a sped up walk to that bridge where I was earlier. This whole place is called the shops at crystals underneath here. And there's a lot of really cool, expensive brand stores. You can also often see people dress top to bottom in these designer clothes. If you're strolling here with a friend, you might want to yell because there is construction noises, there is street noise and music blasting through the speakers. It's a pretty lively place, I can say. For a morning filming, there wasn't that many people, but overall, it's usually pretty packed. The traffic is always there, by the way, and you can still see a few people. Now we'll go back. And back we are. Can you tell that this is a different floor? Yeah, I cannot, because they all look pretty much identical. So we will now go and check out a small studio, Unit 1010, that is actually currently for sale and is available for purchase. This 558 square foot studio condo is listed at $338,000. It doesn't have the same view as the other unit, but this condo is for someone who just wants to buy the location. 
wouldn't spend too much time inside and possibly keep it as great secondary residence. Because then you don't have to worry about weekend hotel room price spikes, you always have your place. It's small, but it has absolutely everything a person needs. And remember, although your monthly HOA fee here is $536, you still get the same amenities as everybody else in the building. Yes, that rooftop pool I'm talking about. Ooh, the AC filter needs to be changed. But this condo is immaculately clean. It has been a secondary residence and all appliances are in a great shape. There is, again, plenty of built-in storage. For such a small unit, you would not believe how much stuff it is possible to pack inside here. Yeah, I know, because I helped empty this unit out and it took three movers packing it up for four hours. The view here is a little bit of the ship, but also primarily of the other tower, which is in a way reminding me of New York City living. When people move to Vegas, they give up something that starts with the letter P. Privacy, that is. Our houses are pretty close together, and it's not unusual to be looking right into your neighbor's bedroom. It would be cool, however, if I had my best friend living right across and we could send each other messages on the windows. Finishing up the daytime tour with the lobby of the West Tower, which is not identical to the other tower, but is still pretty cool. And now we are back at the evening time. This is literally pure magic. If you are still here, you're in for a treat. This is the coolest part of this entire tour. And by the way, notice how there's still nobody here. I was so out of the way, but I decided to drive back and record this nighttime view of this pool. Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't yet. I was so hungry and extremely exhausted, but I thought this would be the coolest part of the video, so I definitely need to drive the 30 minutes back and do it. When I have clients interested in purchasing a condo here, normally I'd bring them during the daytime hour. And they're pretty impressed. But then, if they set their heart on a specific condo and we make an offer and the offer gets accepted, to celebrate, I bring them here at nighttime. And every time, they are completely blown away. And that's when it feels to them that, wow, indeed, I wanted to live here and I made the right decision. Pretty cool. Notice again, there's literally not a single person here. Where are these people? Are they partying on the strip somewhere that I don't know? I wanted to walk right over here to show you the Bellagio fountains that were going off at the time. Some of the north-facing bedrooms will have a luxury of this view. I'm just completely in awe from everything. There's something so special about the sun setting down and the city glowing with its neon lights. And then minute by minute, the sky went from orange to purple to dark blue, and then the shades kept turning darker and darker and darker. And I also decided to sit down and reflect on the past week, the goals that I'm having, because quite frankly, it was just pure magic. Thank you so much for joining me on this tour, and I hope you'll enjoy many more to come.